All right, so before we get started with the video, please join the channel as a member. Please like and share this video and please subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy. I actually have a task to do. It's not really a test video. I just wanted to use my brand new Hilti angle grinder. All right, so this test that I made with my father-in-law, we did it very well. It's very secured on there and welded. It doesn't look pretty, but it does its job. I did use the Milwaukee one inch 1800 foot pound on this and it actually caved in the metal. All right, so because there is a negative space right there, so it actually caved it in. So what I need to do and I, I need to put like a spacer inside so the, uh, it doesn't cave in anymore. So what I want to try to do is I want to try to insert black, uh, black steel pipe in there to see if it'll actually work. But to do that, I'm going to need to grind the stuff off. All right, so we have a couple of grinding wheels that I want to uh, try out on. And this thing is brand new. I love it. I love the design. All right, so when it comes to angle grinders, in my opinion, this isn't a tool that will get you into a platform. To decide which brand of an angle grinder you get, that, that all depends on what other tools made you decide to get into another battery platform. All right, so now because of the channel, I'm actually going to get a lot of these. I want to test these out. That's what we're going to start doing in the beginning of this year. Alrighty, so let's see what this thing can do. We're going to start off with, uh, I think I'll just in this video take these two off and uh, try to do what I want it to do. hoping that's enough to break it. We're going to use the real grinding wheel. Right, let's continue. That should be good. Now let's switch over to the Hercules. Very easy to take out. I, I, I love this tool. Yep, like I said in uh, live streams and previous videos, this channel is going to get into welding. So grinding, angle grinders is going to be a huge thing in this, in this channel. Right, so let's use the Hercules from Harbor, from Harbor Freight. And like I said, this channel is going to be shopping a lot at Harbor Freight. So let's check this out. All right, now let's, uh, yeah, let's smooth that out, get all the little crap around it oh, uh, off. Now we're good to go. 
Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that, that makes, that's gorgeous. Now that is ready for a good weld. So uh, we're gonna continue. I'm actually gonna do this live. Uh, and probably today I'm gonna take out more of these. And so yeah, so this angle grinder rocks. I love this thing. This thing is, this was uh, $206. And like I said, there are other versions. They have a 36 version that you can get for 220. They have uh, another eight, uh, 22 volt version you can get for 216. And that one has an angled battery, but I got this one because I want the battery straight. I do. I'm not a fan of angled batteries. You know, it's. I, I'm just not. I love straight batteries where you just can put it on a surface like that, and be done with it. All right. But like I said, this channel is going to majorly get into angle grinders, and it's not just going to be drills and packs and saws anymore. This channel is going to majorly do metal work and get into welding. Like I said, I'm all, I'm already accumulating my I'm already accumulating my tools to do welding, so I'm gonna get a welder next. And I'm actually gonna be training with my father-in-law because he's actually got into welding as well. So I'm gonna be actually be training with him on how to use a welder along with taking a, a couple of courses to become a good welder. We have here, we have the Hilti AG4S A22 angle grinder. Now this is actually their lowest model. They all pretty much cost almost the same. There's like a $20 difference. But I loved this particular model because the battery is flat. The, uh, on the, this is the only angle grinder that they have to where the, you could actually set the battery, the tool on its battery. Every other one that they have, the battery is, it's at an angle. And I'm not a fan of that because you're forced to hold your, your keep your tool like that, which that's a waste of space. So I chose this specific model because the battery is not at a major angle. As you can see, you can put it upright just like that. This does have a very uh, speed setting. It goes from one to six. And once again, this is model number AG4SA22. So the max RPM is 8,500. And this, is, this goes up to a five inch wheel because this does come with, a, with an attachment where you could put a five inch wheel on there. And so I'm a uh, four and a half inch is standard. So that's what we're gonna use. Very easy, easy adjustable shield. Very easy adjustable. And this also comes with, unfortunately when it, com unfortunately when it comes to their lock key, you there is no way there is no storage for this like you actually need to keep this separate because there actually is no slot to to put this in usually companies put it in the handle but yeah there's no slot for you to actually put this in so this is just a floating tool it does come with an additional quick lock which you just put this on instead and i was confused about this really uh for a second because the holes inside does not actually support the holes that are actually on there. So as you can see, it does not line up. So I was actually confused about that. Right, so it's an angle grinder, you guys. There's nothing really to it. I love the angle on the handle. It is not straight. It's actually at a good angle. And the way that this holds in your hand is fantastic. So yeah, the way you hold, the way it's held is fantastic. It's, it's perfectly fits in my hand. You have a little bit, I feel like just by holding it like this, you have a little bit more control. It is a nice motor. It's actually pretty quiet. It's actually a pretty quiet motor. That's pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to do the. I just wanted to do this task on camera, see how well this actually works. And as you can see, it works extremely well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.